This is 5.5b of algebra. So we're going to take an equation and we're going to put it into standard form. Remember, standard form is ax plus by equals c. So let's check out um, the equation we have here. Notice there is a fraction in there. Whenever we have a fraction in there, we need to get rid of it. Okay, we don't want to have fractions um, in our standard form. So if you're going to get rid of a fraction, you need to multiply by whatever number is on the bottom. So in this equation, there's a 3 at the bottom. So we're going to multiply by 3 on both sides. So I'm going to multiply by 3 over here, by 3 over here. So I get 3 times y minus 2 equals 3 times negative 1 third times x plus 6. Okay, on the left I'm going to distribute in. 3 times y is 3y. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 equals, I can rewrite 3 as 3 over 1 because then it's easier to multiply uh, fractions. So this is a positive times a negative, so this is going to be a negative. 3 times 1 on the top will give me 3 over 3 times 1 on the bottom will give me 3. Well, 3 over 3 is the same thing as 1, right? Anything over itself is 1. So this is negative 1. We still got our parentheses. So I'm going to leave my stuff on the y on the left alone. And I'm going to distribute in my negative 1. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. So I need to get the numbers on one side and the, let and the letters on the other side. So I'm going to move my letters to the left. So I'm going to add x to both sides. And notice our standard form up there x comes first, right? So I'm going to, when I rewrite this, put x in the front. So x plus 3y minus 6 equals negative 6. And I'll add 6, and I get x plus 3y equals 0. And that would be my equation, right? So there's no number in front of my x, which just means it's a 1. You can put the 1 in there if you want. So 1x plus 3y equals 0. Let's try one more. Let's try one that's in slope-intercept form. So if I have y equals 3x plus 4. So I need to get the letters on one side, and I need to get the numbers on the other side. So if I subtract 3x from both sides, I get negative 3x plus y equals 4. This is okay, I'll take this. Um, it's nicer to make it so that the front number is positive. So, this would be an acceptable answer. I'm okay with that. But, if you multiplied through by negative 1 on both sides, we get negative 1 times negative 3x is a positive 3x negative 1 times y is a negative y equals negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. So this is the same equation, just written a little differently. Um, it has a positive number out front, which is sometimes nice, but either will work. Okay, so the book did a um, problem about buying songs and movies, and we're going to do the same problem, but we're going to use um, different numbers. So... Let's get ourselves a graph. Okay, so it says a media download store sells songs for $1 each and movies for, and we're going to use $15 instead. So instead of $12, we're going to be talking about $15 movies. So, songs are $1. Movies are $15. And we have... $60 to spend. We're going to spend it all. So the first thing we need to do before we can graph this is we need to come up with an equation. So if I buy one song, it's going to cost me $1. If I buy five songs, it's going to cost me $5. If I buy 100 songs, it's going to cost me $100. I figure that out by doing the cost of the song, $1, times the number of songs. So let's call songs X, and we'll call movies Y. So this is going to be 1x plus, and then however many movies I buy. So if I buy one movie, it costs $15. If I buy two movies, it costs $30. So it's 
So I'm taking the number of movies and I'm multiplying it by 15. So this will be 15Y. And however much I spend, however much the songs and the movies cost, needs to equal $60. So, now that I have my equation, to be able to graph this, I need to figure out what my x-intercept is and what my y-intercept is. So, x-intercept, remember that's when y is equal to 0. So I get 1x plus 15, and instead of y, I'm plugging in 0, equals 60. So I get 1x plus 0 equals 60. So I get 1x equals 60. And 1x is the same thing as just x, right? So I get x equals 60. So there's my x-intercept. Now I'm going to figure out my y-intercept. So that's when x is equal to 0. So I have 1 times 0 plus 15y equals 60. So that's 0 plus 15y equals 60. So 15y equals 60, and to get y alone, I will divide by 15. y is equal to 4. So I'm going to draw myself a graph here. That's a little off. Oh, goodness. We're just going to call that good. So, we said X was songs, so this down here is songs, and Y was our movies, so this is movies. My Y-intercept is 4, so I just need to go up to 4, so I'll go up by 1s. So I need to put a point right there, and my X-intercept is 60. I don't want to have to go all the way up to 60, just going up by 1s. So I think I'll go up by 10s. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60. So there's my x-intercept. And now I'm going to connect these. OK. And they want me to figure out a couple different um, combinations of how many songs and movies I can buy. So let's start with our y-intercept here. Oops. There we go. So our first numbers are x, right? And that's how much I went left and right. So starting down here at the origin, I didn't move left to right at all. So that's a 0. But then I went up 4, so that my y is 4. So 0, 4. We said 0 is, or x is our songs. So this is if I buy zero songs and four movies. And if I look at my x-intercept, I went, remember x is moving left to right. If you started at the origin over here, we went right 60 and we didn't go up or down at all, so that was a zero. So again, x is songs, so this is 60 songs and zero movies. And I'll choose one more on the line. I'll choose this one right here. So this is the point. We went over 30 and up 2. So this is 30 songs and 2 movies. So these are all options of how you could spend your $60. You could buy 0 songs and 4 movies. You could buy 30 songs and 2 movies. You could buy 60 songs or 0 movies. Here's a summary of the different kinds of equation, linear equations that we've looked at. So, and the graph just points out your y-intercept, your x-intercept, um, and how you move with slope. And there's your homework.